everyone welcome back to the Droid tips and this video we're going to talk about how to fix your asus rog ally is having overheating issue and how you can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we need to reduce the voltage of the console that is what we have to do as the first one so to do this we just need to follow these instruction the first one as you can see over here there is a button for the ar armor crate so just press this particular button over here we can say this so just press this particular button so let me press this button so when you press this button this is how it looks now that will take you to the armor crate now from here we have to navigate to settings now from here we have to tap on the operating mode and now we have four options that is windows silent performance turbo and manual so if you keep in the silent what happens is your uh, asus rock ally will not be having any overheating issue because it will be controlling the voltage so it is good that you can most cases you can keep in the silent but if something is necessary you can either keep to the performance or you can keep to the turbo that is fine with it and also you can set to the manual as well so if you are setting to the manual over here in the spl you have to set the voltage that can be done from your side so you can set the voltage according to your configuration so once you set the voltage everything is done with this you can close this and you can see whether the issue is solved or not still the issues there you can try with the next one that is all about we need to clean the air flows that is we just need to clear the air vents over here you can use a brush and clean it in all the sides of the asus rog alley because sometimes the dust particles and all things can be a hindrance so just clean your you can brush your uh, rog ally with just using the brush and once afterwards just clean it and that is what you have to do afterwards most probably for many users it work it so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but when your asus rog ally is completely hot it is red hot the first one what you need to do is we just need to keep it aside for a little bit of time for example let me say if it's too hot just keep it aside for 10 minutes so what happens is it will cool down from its own end which is going to help us a lot so for many users when they uh, when the asus rog ally is so hot they keep it to cool it for a little bit of time so you can do the same just keep it over there and let it get completely cooled up and afterwards let's say for half an hour or something once afterwards just use it once again and see if the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but we just need to do is we just need to reduce the brightness so we have two method to reduce the brightness once we can press this particular button over here you can keep pressing this particular button over here and once you do this we are having an option for sound as well as the brightness so you can reduce the brightness over here like i said you can do this up at the same time you can do this up over here if you go over here at the bottom you can see there is a sound icon if you tap on this particular sound icon you will be getting this option over here we have a brightness option as well you can also set the brightness according to it so if the brightness is too high which means it is being utilized in the background the battery is consumed at the same time we are running a huge game definitely you will be having the heating issue so you have to keep in mind you just need to remove it as well once after done with this one and still the issues there you can also try with disabling the startup process for to do this just go over here in this task manager person who like this so when you do this you will be getting this particular one so just go to the task manager and when you go to task manager as you can see in the pc there are around 88 apps running in the background so all these things are running in the background which is utilizing the performance so at the same time simultaneously we are running a game for example ramen and two ratchet and clank rift apart which is a quite huge game so what happens at the same time these 88 apps are running in the background simultaneously these games are running in the background so these having the show so we just need to reduce the un i mean we need we need to end the unwanted apps for example if you find anything unwanted then just press and hold like this so you'll be getting an end task option which is usually shown in the uh, which is actually uh, which is usually available in the pc we can do the same over here and you can remove the unwanted things from here and once you remove the unwanted things you just need to close it over here and once you're done with this one you can try launch the game once again even after trying with this if the issue is still there you can also try reducing the gpu memory which is quite important for reducing the gpu memory we just need to press over here on this particular button which is called arm armor pratt so just press this particular button so you just have to press this so once you press this what happens is this will get you this which is armor crate now from here go to the settings over here now from here we have to go to the operating mode now from here go to the gpu settings over here and from here we can see the memory assigned to gpu is always in 4g try lowering to either to 2g or 3g you can try lowering to 2g or you can try lowering to 3g as well so when you are lowering into 2g or 3g 
it is asking for a restart so just do a restart and afterwards most probably the issue will be completely fixed so even after trying with this if the issue is still persisting you are not able to fix the issue up you can also try uh, using different charges sometimes the issue might be with the charger so try connecting to many charges i mean not many try connecting with a new charger and see whether the issue is solved or not for many users when they charge with a new charger it worked for them so afterwards when they restarted the asus rock ally there is no heating issue for them maybe sometimes you know this even causes the issue up so just cross check yourself in this way and even after trying with this the last one is all about we need to reset your asus rock ally for doing this we just need to press the volume up followed by we have to press volume down sorry you have to press volume down at the same time we have to press the power button together so what happens is you will be doing a force restart and force restart is a fix for many issues and you can try this particular one for asus rock ally this particular issue and you can do a force restart even after trying with this you've done with all these things and you're having the issue you can try with contacting the asus support team or you can book an appointment you can talk to them so just book an appointment with the technician talk to them they're going to help you guys out so these are the possible workaround which can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye